Hi, welcome back again. Uh, today I want to present to you a fact from mathematics. Uh, the fact is based on answering the question find in consecutive numbers that are not prime. This is kind of a, a question that usually does not have a nice answer uh, because it is related to prime numbers. Uh, if you have read a little bit about mathematics, some of the hardest questions to answer are usually related to prime numbers. Uh, they really do not behave in a regular way. Uh, however, uh, this question is pretty simple. It, it has a somewhat straightforward answer and uh, that pretty much is consequence not because of prime numbers but because uh, at least there is one property of one common uh, mathematical operation. We want to find um, pretty much a number a, number a also a plus one, and if we go all the way to the number a plus n minus one, all of these numbers, all of these numbers are not prime. So I let you have a couple of minutes to try and figure out how to answer this question. Uh, feel free to pause the video right now. So, okay, I'm going to start moving on and try to give you ideas in order for you to solve this problem. So, one first thing for you to uh, consider is to take the possibility of saying, okay, uh, uh, if A is not prime, uh, it must have a factor and it must be able to be written as the product of two numbers where uh, neither of them is one. So, uh, one of the easiest tries is to say, oh, maybe uh, A can be written as a, the, uh, as a multiple of two. Let's say this is equal to uh, two times, this is equal to two uh, times a number M, for example. And okay, that's fine, that's fine, but we have only made A and not prime. We also want, for example, to have a plus one not prime. However, we are now unable to have uh, two as a factor of a plus one because now a would be even and a plus one necessarily would need to be off. So, um, what can we do in, in this case? Oh, well, in this case, uh, we could try with the next number, right? Uh, after 2 and that would be for example 3. In this case we can make a, a plus 1 a, a multiple of 3, let's say a 3 times n. We are already aiming for making that a plus 2 a multiple of 4. So uh, that really gives an idea of property behind uh, the answer. So i let you ponder a little bit more about solving this problem. Uh, remember, you just need to continue the pattern and uh, remember any common mathematical operation that pretty much uh, would work for solving this pattern. Uh, the next hint that I can give you, uh, think about uh, the uh, factorial operation. Uh, so we have n factorial and what can we do uh, with the n factorial? Oh, okay, uh, we know that n factorial uh, has all the first n integers as factors. So that's going to be very nice, very nice. Uh, so, okay. Uh, now, maybe a little bit that is going to um, astray us a little bit with this, is that the next number after n factorial is n factorial plus one. And this pretty much uh, throw, it may throw us away from this. Uh, because now we really do not know how to work with n factorial plus one. The pretty much the only thing that we know is that none of the first n integers is a factor of this one because uh, they will need to divide number one, which is not possible. Huh. However, uh, let's not lose hope. Uh, let's see what happens later on. Uh, so, okay, we have uh, now n factorial uh, plus 2. Oh, okay, this 
may look very interesting. Um, now we have that n factorial is at least if n is greater than 2, greater or equal, uh, we have that n factorial is a multiple of 2 and also 2. So this uh, might be a multiple of 2. And it's multiple of 2 as long as n is greater or equal than 2. Oh, okay, that looks appealing, appealing. Remember what we were uh, aiming for uh, number a to be. And okay, the next number is going to be n factorial uh, plus 3. Hmm, this still should be look very nice. And uh, why is that? Well, uh, n factorial, if it is greater or equal than 3, it is a multiple of 3. And, well, 3 is a multiple of 3, so if n is greater or equal than 3, uh, n factorial plus 3 is a multiple of 3. So pretty much, uh, there are only a, a little bit of uh, details in order to uh, complete the argument already, uh, because this pattern is going to continue for uh, probably a, a couple of numbers. So, how far can we stretch this reason? I let you think for a for a couple of minutes. Feel free to pause the video. So, uh, a lot of thanks for uh, wanting to compare your answer. Uh, so, uh, one answer for this problem is going to be the number n plus one factorial a plus two. And this is going to be our a. As you may imagine, uh, this is not necessarily the only answer. There can be a lot of more answers to this one. We can uh, find uh, a smaller number than n plus 1 factorial plus 2 in order to start uh, watching uh, gaps so large in the prime numbers. And actually, if you want to do a little bit more research or more investigations into this topic, uh, pretty much this is uh, known as uh, gaps between primes. For now, that this would be all. Uh, a lot of thanks for watching.